Welcome to the School Therapy Occupational Therapy video series. In this video, we will review a fine motor skill called rotation. For children to interact with their school and home environment, they must be able to manipulate or move objects within their hands smoothly and quickly. In-hand manipulation is a fine motor skill using the thumb and fingers of one hand to position and move objects within that same hand, and it is a very important part of fine motor development in children. Children struggling with in-hand manipulation skills may often drop objects such as pencils, utensils, or coins, have trouble grasping their pencil, have issues with tying shoelaces, putting on socks independently, or buttoning and doing snaps. There are three types of in-hand manipulation skills, shift, rotation, and translation. And in this video, we will focus on rotation. There are two types of rotation. Simple rotation is turning or rolling an object with the pads of the fingers and thumbs, such as when opening a glue stick or a jar. This skill usually develops in children by two and a half to three years of age. Complex rotation is turning an object end over end using thumb and finger movements together, such as when turning a pencil from the lead end to the eraser end. This skill is more advanced and usually develops in children by six to seven years of age. For simple rotation, practice these activities at home or at school. Building puzzles is a great way for your child or student to practice simple rotation as they have to pick up and turn the puzzle pieces with their fingers. When doing art projects, have your child turn the base of a glue stick, open paint bottles, or place art supplies such as buttons or glitter in jars with lids, so the child has to open the jar. Other functional tasks for simple rotation include using paper clips or push pins, using twist ties on bread bags, using a manual can opener, or using a combination lock for a school locker. For complex rotation, practice these activities at home or at school. Before starting to print, have your child practice flipping or rotating their pencil from the lead end to the eraser end with one hand, or use markers or crayons that are double tipped, making this activity more colorful and fun. Have your child use cotton swabs and paint to make a picture. Have your child dip the cotton swab into the paint for one color, then flip the cotton swab with the same hand and use a different color on the other end of the cotton swab. And your child or student can also play card games and flip or rotate the cards end over end onto the table. If you would like more information, please contact your school-based occupational therapist from your family of schools.